All right, starting off turn number eight with Arjun. He's down to one hit point. We have one healing surge left. We've done the uh, we've done the ten damage to uh, Gravestorm by going up and taking out the Flactory, but I just don't see how we can do enough damage to him before he's going to take us out. <clears throat> I just, I really feel like it's impossible, but I don't know. Maybe if he played this with five heroes, that'd be really hard for one person to do. Uh, the problem is with five heroes, though, you, you just have that much more opportunity for encounters and more monsters being drawn and all that. But on the other hand, if you made it to this point, I can see five heroes having the DPS to take down Gravestorm in one or two rounds, but... Anyway, we're going to use our uh, plus 11 power here because if we're going to take this guy down, I mean, we just need to lay in with lay in to him with everything we got. So we just need to get a 3, and we got a 6. So 6 and 11 is 17, and Gravestorm's AC is 14, so we do the 2 damage, taking Gravestorm down to 8. So, you know, he's beaten down, but... Uh, and then that's not going to help and we don't have the uh we don't have this one anymore that does it we can attack without attacking basically so that's going to be it for Arjun so let's update so he did not use a surge he did attack uh we're not moving um no treasure not exploring, no new tile, no new monster, forced encounter because we're not exploring, and then Gravestorm will activate and kill Arjun. So encounter for not exploring, we cannot cancel it. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. So Alyssa takes uh, one damage, uh, Arjun takes no damage. So Alyssa takes one damage, taking her down to one. So we're both at one. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're gonna die right now because we only have one hit point left. We only have one healing surge, so only one of us can come back, and I think we're both about to die. So if the Dragon's Breath token is on this card and Gravestorm is within one tile of two or more heroes, so that condition is now meant. Remove the token and then Gravestorm attacks each hero within one tile with the Blast of Lightning. So we remove Dragon's Breath. I'll just flip it over. And attacks both of us with a Blast of Lightning. Burst or Blast? Blast. So this is like his big, his big, oh, we're dead. Because hit or miss, it kills us. So we're dead. Uh, we'll have him roll as he does three damage or two damage or three or one. So this is uh, Arjun's turn. So Arjun gets hit first, and Arjun takes the full hit of three damage. So Arjun's dog all the way dead, hundred percent dead. So he goes down, and then Alyssa gets attacked. And 9 plus, I forgot what the, uh, 8, 17, so Alyssa takes the full brunt, and she's dead. So that was Graystorm's turn, so now technically what happens is Alyssa starts her turn, and let's just play this out just to show it. So she uses the second token to come back. She comes back with 4 HP, so yes, she uses a token. So she stands back up. And, I mean, in my opinion, it makes sense to try to kill the skeleton because it's just a pest. So we have her ping the skeleton to take it out. Uh, even though, you know, we're trying to kill Gravestorm, but... Um, actually... I still think it makes sense to kill the skeleton because, uh, you know, it's just going to be around there pestering us. So, so she kills the skeleton... So she did her attack, so she gets treasure. Let's just see how this plays. 
but it doesn't matter because when Arjun has to go, he can't. He, he doesn't have a uh, a surge. So so my point is, we can't win. Um, and even even if we use the third healing surge, it's just not enough to uh, to see us through the game. But you know what? Let's actually let's use the third surge. We lost. We're not going to count this as a win. But let's use the third surge just to see what happens. Draw three. Keep one. One, two, three. All right, you can move useless until the end. You get plus two. Look at the top three. Uh, this is useless. This is mostly useless. So we'll put those in the pile. Now until the end of the next hero, we all get plus two. That might be useful because it'll just give us a better chance of hitting uh, the guy. So she drew the GS thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and have her move adjacent to Gravestorm as well. So she uses her move action. So not exploring. No new tile. No new monster. Uh, that's Guided strikes, not Graystorm. So we have a forced encounter. Skeleton's gone. Let's see what the forced encounter is. Now we can actually cancel this encounter. Uh, whenever uh, we're going to let it play, whenever we would draw a monster, we draw two monsters instead. And then we use the one that's got the most uh, experience. So we'll let that one play out. Um... All right, so now Gravestorm activates. So that condition is not true. That condition is true. So he's going to bite Alyssa. Plus eight on that attack. And 14, so that's going to hit. So it's going to do two damage to Alyssa and knock her back one tile. Although it goes in the direction of the arrow. What do you do if you're on the start tile and all arrows point to the tile? I think you just stay on the start tile. That's how I'm going to rule that. Wait. And place the hero one tile in the direction of his or her tiles triangle. Yeah, there are no triangles on the tile, so... And I think the point is that it knocks you back to the start tile. I don't know how to call that. So I'm just going to say she stays where she's at. Actually, I guess probably what it's trying to do is to knock you away from Gravestorm. So we'll put her over here. Because I, I think that's probably the intent of the rule. And uh, she took two damage, so she's down to two. Alright, so that's the end of turn number eight. We'll go ahead and play turn number nine, just because I'm a bit curious. 